Russia sends special military convoy to Ukraine border. The Ukrainian military said that a special convoy of Russian military vehicles was recorded near the border area near Chernihiv province. In a statement on February 23, Ukraine's Northern Operations Command revealed that a special Russian military convoy was recorded at the border area near the country's Chernihiv province. According to intelligence gathered by the Ukrainian side, the military convoy in the air was painted with the ZRV symbols typical of Russian forces participating in the war in Ukraine. In addition, the soldiers who appeared near this convoy wore uniforms similar to those of the Ukrainian army. According to the Northern Command of Ukraine, this may be a distracting tactic of the Russian side to prepare for a major attack in the near future. The Ukrainian side alleged that Russia could use this convoy to infiltrate the Ukrainian border, or use them to accuse Ukraine of harassing actions along the border. Ukraine's Northern Operations Command confirmed that border defense forces in Chernihiv province are still under control. Our soldiers strictly adhere to the rules of combat. We will not attack Russian territory, but will absolutely protect Ukraine's territory. Recently, the enemy has continued to continue. Raided the territory of the Chernihiv region with mortars, the statement said. Also on February 23, Ukrainian authorities in Kharkov province accused the Russian military of carrying out a missile attack on a government building in the city of Kupiansk in Kharkov province. Today, the enemy attacked the Kupiansk region. Their target is a government building, said Ole Sinyabanov, head of the military administration of the Kharkov region of Ukraine. Sinyabanov also revealed that the attack had left at least one person injured. Two other people are also trapped in the rubble. According to initial information, Russia used S-300 missiles for the attack. The S-300 missile complex is one of the most powerful and popular air defense weapons of the Russian military. Developed under the Soviet Union and first deployed in 1979, the S-300 is designed with airspace defense in mind for large industrial and administrative facilities, military bases, and airspace control. Against enemy attack planes In early July 2022, Ukrainian officials confirmed that the Russian military had installed a satellite navigation device on the S-300 missile to give these missiles the ability to hit the ground. This is considered a temporary solution of Russia before the shortage of high-precision cruise missiles in the special military operation in Ukraine. 